say anything to Hey, it's not my fault. Jesus Christ, you didn't tell me Julia was coming, shit. I mean, you said come over for dinner. You said potluck. Julia Carlton, she's not potluck. Gannis ran into her the other day. <laughs> Just relax, be cool. You know, I gotta go to the bathroom. Whoa, whoa, whoa use the one upstairs. Be stealth. David? Julia, hey, hey. Oh my god, I haven't seen you in so long. Oh my, when was the, the last time we saw each other? Was that that, that, um... Uh, the, um... It was that... Yeah, yeah. Fun. Anyway, you look great. Thanks. So, so do you. Thanks. <sighs> Candace. <laughs> so you're, uh, back for good? Yeah, actually, I just moved back about three weeks ago. Yeah, I had a, a bit of a falling out with, um, you know, Tootie. Right, right, uh, Tootie. Always liked him. Yeah. Well, we're glad to have you back. Thanks. Could you excuse me for a second? Sure. I just have to run upstairs and run upstairs. Okay, <laughs> hey, hurry back, all right? I want to catch up. All right. <laughs> We're glad to have you back. We're glad to have you back. Jesus. You know, let me know if I can kiss your ass even more than I already have. Sweet Jesus. I ended up with milk duds and pubic hair stuck to my slacks. Oh, <laughs> classy first date. Hey, sweetie, do you have any uh, uh, contact solution? Oh, upstairs in the bathroom. There's some saline solution under the sink. Oh, great. Hello? David? Oh, just, just be a second! dainty little log, but it's not. I mean, there is like a, a small child in there. And then downstairs, amongst my friends, no less, sits the culprit, just, just beaming with satisfaction that, that this is no longer their problem. Jake. Whoa. Strangely enough, I can't sit on other people's toilets, man. I'm taking medication for it. Candace? Are you kidding? Something like that would split me in half. Todd. Candace doesn't even let me use her soap. I got my own private crap around the garage. Donna. Oh, I'm capable, but I'm not an exhibitionist. Whoa, okay, hold it right there. Julia? No. A girl like that, you know, she probably shits roses. It's true. You should see it. I do shit roses. Drinks, right? And we're kind of just sitting there. I mean, the girl literally has nothing to say. Hi, sweetie. And so after like the fifth awkward silence, I say, What do you like? And she sits there and thinks really hard. She says, I like soup. Uh huh? What kind of soup? Okay, so gravity equals 32 feet per second squared. Now, 
Assuming a 12 foot drop and a 2 foot protrusion from the AC unit below, the massive specimen would have to travel at a horizontal velocity of 2.29 feet per second to arrive in the hedge below and the safe haven cleared of the unit. Just a second! Oh god. Oh. Oh. oh god. So, normally I'd be turned off by a girl with three nipples. Whoa. <laughs> what was that? Probably the house settling, huh? Oh, shit. David, are you sure you're okay? Just washing my hands! You know what? I'm gonna go get um, Candace and Todd, okay? Oh, all God. Yours. Oh my God, you're all wet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I just need to clean my contact, so I just want to get in. Great, great, yeah. Oh, okay, thanks. Oh my God, these contacts are such a pain. That's what I know. Oh, you have them too? Uh, yeah. Oh, God, it is so unfair that we have to deal with these stupid things. Isn't it? Yeah. Anyway. Hi. Hi. David, what the hell are you doing to me, man? Snapping the radish? You're still sweating, bro. A lot. Everything's under control. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So, David, tell us, what's the worst day you've ever had? I mean, I know you've been in some real shit sandwiches. <laughs> shit sandwiches. <laughs> shit sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, David, what was the worst day you've ever had? It's got to be a doozy. The boy's sweating like a pig. Todd, honey, turn on the AC. It's a little hot in here, don't you think? Oh, it's okay. I'll get it. Who made this macaroni and cheese? I did. Uh, yes. You, you don't wanna, uh... What, uh...